Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jim Morris and today I'm going to be showing you guys the first part of Bite Size Bits. Now, Bite Size Bits is going to be a very very low level introduction, sorry, to programming. And the whole point of Bite Size Bits is to take the very fundamentals of most programming languages and show you guys exactly what um, how to do them and how to translate between one language and another also to just kind of show the real fundamentals of it because programming can be very overwhelming and I don't want people to be overwhelmed anymore so I'm gonna break it down for you guys we're gonna be using a program called processing which if you watched episode 0 of this series you guys will understand what that is um, but it's basically a Java based program that's really easy to learn so I'm gonna walk you guys through the, the very very fundamentals of it. I'm also going to show you in this video how to download and get it up and running. Now I have processing here. It's processing 3.0.1 in uh, on my desktop, my very clean desktop. But if you guys don't have it, which I'm assuming you wouldn't, you would go to any web browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome and you type in the processing.org. This is the processing website. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the download processing if it loads there you are now you can donate but you don't have to so you just click select no donation hit download and then choose whichever um, operating system you have now this was updated on the 23rd of October so it was quite a while ago but they do release it um, release updates once every few months and this is a pretty stable version so I have a Windows 64-bit operating system, so I would click on Windows 64-bit, and you guys just choose whichever one you have. They have it for Mac, Mac, Linux, and Windows, which is really nice. So you just click on it. If Maybe. There it is. So that's going to take a little bit for my computer to download, so I'll be right back when uh, it's finished downloading. All right, so uh, it has now finished downloading, so you'll get this zip folder. So you just want to take it, at least in Google Chrome, you just take it and drag it to your desktop. So you just want to get it onto your desktop. And then what you want to do is you want to either, you want to extract the files, um, usually to a desktop folder, and then that's how you'll get this. Um, I will do this, so just to show you guys. It's really, really fast and simple. So I'm going to close my uh, browser here real quick, and you'll have this. Now this will have the processing 3.0.1, and I'll have this. So because I already have it, I'm just going to take these two files and delete them, just like that. So you'll have this folder here. Now here's the shortcut, shortcut for processing, and I believe you can't remove it from, yeah, you have to, you have to re remove it, you have to have it in the actual folder. So. I believe so. Hopefully this works. Come on, processing. Doo -dee -doo. Okay. Okay, so here's uh, processing. Now I'm going to uh, close this window up here so you don't because you don't need that open, and we'll just maximize this for greater effect. Now um, everything made in processing is called a sketch. And what that means basically is it's just a program. It's not really anything like special. It's just your basic program. So let's run through the uh, menu real quick. So you have new sketch. You have uh, you can open a sketch if you know where it is. You can open your recent sketches. You have a sketchbook. You have some examples. Uh, close, save, export application, and there's just a couple other things here. Um, there's some other things now. A really good thing to uh, to know is this auto format. So basically if I, what I want to do is I'm just going to write a few functions here. Whoops. Now I'm just going to do and then if I do something like And then something like so 
you can kind of see that my code is a little bit all over the place. So if I hit Control or Command if you're on Mac and Control T, it'll auto format it and it'll make it all look nice. So that's really helpful for um, if you have a like 400 lines of code, which I know sounds daunting, but it's really not. Um, you know, if you have a bunch of lines of code and you just it all looks kind of messy. So then you just hit Control T and it'll auto format it for you. Um, you can, there's comments and uncommenting things, which basically if I write a comment is basically something that the computer doesn't read that you can do. So basically if I wrote a bunch of code and it makes a moving rectangle, I'd basically do, this is a moving rectangle, rectangle, here we go. So basically everything that comes after this, anyone that reads my code later, will know, okay, this is the code that he does to the moving rectangle. Let's just say I have another bunch of code here that says this is a moving circle. They'll know everything between, you know, this line and this line uh, is the moving rectangle. And then if I do something like this, this is a um, spinning line they'll be able to, they'll know between this line and this line is everything for the moving rectangle and everything after this line is the spinning line. So if that makes sense. So um, I'm gonna run you guys through the basics of, oh, and then we will have some debug things, which is enable the debugger, which it should be on by default, but just in case you should check. Um, there's just some other things like run is basically whenever you draw a sketch, which I'll walk you guys through later. You just hit Control R or Command R, and that'll do. That'll run the sketch. And then to stop, you know, you can just stop. Now another thing is like you have a reference guide, which automatically is downloaded to your computer, so you don't need the internet. And this reference material is a whole ton of things, and this is everything that's in processing. Now I know it looks overwhelming, but it's really not. So let's just say I wanted to know something particular about a rectangle. Right, and let's just say I can't remember how to properly size this rectangle. Well, if I wanted to, I would basically highlight it by either using my mouse or holding shift and using an arrow key to highlight rect so it's in the little yellow box. And then I go to help and I do find and reference or I could just highlight it and then hit control shift F. And boom, it brings up the page on the rect function, which is how you make rectangles. Really simple stuff. So anything you want to find in reference, you highlight it, then control shift F. Bam. Basically think of it as control shift find. So really simple stuff. So um, everything in processing is made via functions. And a function is basically um, a void, which returns nothing, and then whatever the name of the function is. So for example, every sketch needs a setup function, which is basically what determines what's going to be run on the first frame. So a setup function only runs one time. It's a very, very first frame of when, it's, when you hit that play button because processing runs default at 60 frames per second. It's the first frame. So setup, and then you want to use the open and close parentheses because that defines a parameter. And a parameter, now like the setup function and in other functions, most functions don't have parameters, but some do, and we'll get into that later. And then basically what you wanna do is you wanna do an open curly bracket, which for those who don't know, the open curly bracket is right next to your P key, and then the close curly bracket, which is like exactly the same, just mirrored on the other side, is right next to the open curly bracket. So this white space is where you're gonna put your code. So in processing, you can determine the size of the window. So the size, so basically how do I do that is the word size, and then open parentheses and close parentheses. Now in, now you do it, do an X value and a Y value. So basically it's X amount of pixels high and Y amount of pixels wide. So basically I would, I'm gonna be doing an 800 by 800 pixels, uh, uh, window that I'm going to be drawn in. Basically, that means 800 pixels tall and 800 pixels wide. It's a square. And then every line of code, with the exception of these like setup, these function um, ones here, is punctuated, meaning it ends with a semicolon. 
So just kind of keep rule of thumb is almost every line of code, except for these like function lines, end with a semicolon. So then let's hit run. And there you go. There's your 800 by 800 window. Now, now that's all we're going to kind of go over today. Um, this video was a little bit longer than what I intended it to be. However, um, most of them are going to be about five to seven minutes long, just because I showed you guys how to download processing and I introduced it to you guys. So if you guys want to see more, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.